Syndicated radio DJ Ralphie Aversa joins me now by phone uh, with no doubt huge response in the music world right now. Ralphie, are you there? I, I am Harris, yes. Uh, tell me exactly what you're hearing from, from your perspective, who you've been able to talk to. Well, I'll tell you one thing that hasn't really been spoken about too much yet is uh, Whitney Houston's uh, boyfriend, at least the last person that she was linked to romantically. Uh, he's an actor and a uh, singer as well. His name's Ray J. And uh, Ray J's publicist has come forward and said that uh, he was not with Whitney when she passed. However, on Ray J's Twitter account, he has tweeted out photos of him and Clive Davis. Apparently, he was assisting uh, the record mogul Davis in this party that was supposed to happen tonight uh, at the Beverly Hilton. And you got to think that maybe he was assisting Clive. Maybe Whitney was an intermediary there uh, in him uh, assisting Clive. What are you hearing just in terms of what the music world has planned? You know, I had just told the viewers about this party that has been in the works for quite some time. Clive Owen's known to give a huge bash. It's a pre-Grammy situation and the timing of her death. Uh, so unfortunate as they get ready and from every indication I'm getting to turn it into a memorial tomorrow night at the Grammys. And it, it, remember as well, Harris, they already had a tribute plan from out to Etta James, who we lost uh, earlier in the month. Alicia Keys was going to head up uh, that tribute. So now uh, you wonder how will they also get in this tribute uh, to Whitney Houston. Of course they will. I would imagine it leads off the show. Uh, but a lot of people taking to Twitter uh, in the music industry and beyond to pay their respects to Whitney Houston. One person I found interesting, don't forget Whitney Houston, born in Newark, New Jersey, Mayor Co Corey Booker, uh, tweeting out, R.I.P. Whitney Houston, a legend and a great American artists and always one of Newark and New Jersey's treasure daughters. Yeah, her, uh, her family, Dionne Warwick, lives in uh, the North Bergen County area, northern part of New Jersey. We know that she has many family members still in New Jersey. Now, I'm seeing some reports that her boyfriend, Ray J, may have been uh, cutting some music with New Edition in Memphis. What are you hearing? Uh, well, I don't think Ray J was uh, down in Memphis, at least obviously not today or this weekend, because, again, he tweeted out photos, Ray J did, of him with Clive Davis at what looked, seems to be rehearsals for tonight's party that was supposed to happen. Um, I am hearing some reports on Twitter that that party has now been canceled, but I cannot mm -hmm. confirm that yet. Um, whether Ray J was working with Bobby directly, though, I'm not sure. Uh, I can also report, though, that before her death, Whitney Houston was working with Black Eyed Peas producer Will I Am. She had visited his house to work on new material. Uh, I doubt, Harris, that that material will see the light of day. The reason why I say that is because Will I Am also worked with Michael Jackson before his death, and Will I Am vowed after the death of Michael Jackson to not release any of that music. I would think he does the same with Houston, uh, but again, I don't know right. for sure. You know, I'm curious to know, I, I'm getting something on my Blackberry now. I have been in contact with one of the family stylists who lives in Bergen County, New Jersey, and she's telling me that the family here on the East Coast is gathering tonight, and that there is a gentleman by the name of Bobby who's an engineer who works with Whitney Houston, uh, kind of working his way into perhaps even becoming a spokesperson at this point for the family. We're going to try to reach out to him. But tell me about her, her music in recent, in recent days and weeks and months. I, I had read that perhaps a comeback was on the horizon, and then there are photographs from just Thursday night where she appeared to be very disheveled. Uh, there was a comeback on the horizon. Again, as I mentioned uh, just now, she was working with, uh, in addition to Will I Am, uh, some other uh, very popular contemporary producers. And, of course, she also just finished uh, wrapping the movie Sparkle, which also features American Idol uh, Jordan Sparks and uh, actor Mike Epps. Uh, as well. So she was certainly on the, the comeback uh, swing and unfortunately uh, was not able to complete it. All right. Uh, we appreciate you being with us. Syndicated radio DJ Ralphie Aversa joining us now. He had some very good information on Ray J, uh, the reported boyfriend of Whitney Houston. We're hearing all sorts of conflicting reports, but we appreciate the sources that you bring us tonight.